Hello, my name is Justin Evadon. I am the product manager for the platform team here at Unchained, currently based in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And I'm Tom Hanzik, Director of Custody Education, calling in from Unchained's headquarters down in Austin, Texas. Unchained has for many years been the leader in offering collaborative custody multi-sig solutions for Bitcoin users, primarily our loans and vaults products. But those have historically been very much a hub and spoke model with Unchained at the center. Today, we're excited to announce the launch of our new connections feature, which expands this into more of a network of keys thereby allowing individual users on the Unchained platform to now connect with one another in the process, being able to share keys and create shared vaults. In this demonstration video, Tom and I are gonna walk through how to get this connection established with another account, how to share keys, and subsequently how to create a shared vault. Tom, you ready to get started? I'm ready when you are, Justin. Let's do it. So I've got my account up here on the screen uh, and you'll notice in the menu, I've got this new connections item here. So I'll click on that. And the first time I'm using this, I'm gonna be prompted for a brief acknowledgement. Uh, this will send you over to our terms of service if you wanna review those, but I'll just quickly agree to those and move through. Now you're gonna see the main connections page. It's split into two parts. On the right side is where any connections that you eventually establish will show up. Now on the left side, you'll see this make a connections card. This is where I'm able to grab my code, my connection code that I'm able to share with Tom. So I'll go ahead and copy that right now and I'll send that over to Tom. All right, so I just received that code from Justin and I'm logged into my demonstration account here. I'm on the home screen. I'm just gonna navigate over to the connections for my account. And since I received a code from Justin, I'm going to paste it in here, and then I'm going to select Request Connection. And on Justin's end, he's now gonna get a notification that I have requested a connection with him. On my screen here, you can see in the pending section that uh, I have this pending connection with Justin. And actually, this connection uh, feature can be used either direction. So, in this case, Justin shared a code with me. I also have a code here on my screen that I could have shared with him and it would have accomplished the same thing. Awesome, Tom. So uh, on my screen, you're seeing the same pending tab. I have the option to accept or decline um, just because of the direction that that code was sent and received. Uh, so I'll go ahead and click accept. And now I've received a notice up here at the top that the connection has been accepted and I can view the connection. So here you'll see a, uh, a detailed page of the connection with Tom, uh, and it's split into two parts, keys I am sharing with Tom and keys Tom is sharing with me. And there's an option here to select a key to share. So I'm gonna click on that, and this brings out a, an option to choose which of my keys I wanna share with Tom. In this case, uh, for this demonstration, I'm gonna be sharing this clavis key, once I've selected it, you'll notice share this key becomes active down here. So I'll go ahead and click that. And now if Tom goes into his connection detail, he should be able to see uh, that key being shared with him. All right, so I'm on my connections page and I can now see here that I have an established connection with Justin. I can hit view. And this shows what keys I'm sharing with Justin, in this case, none, but I can also see the keys that Justin has shared with me, and he has shared this key with me so far. So next, I'm going to actually use uh, one of my own keys, plus this key that Justin has shared with me, to actually build a vault. So I'm gonna hit vaults on the left side, and I'm gonna hit new vault. I have an opportunity to name my vault here. I'll just call it Tom and Justin and hit next. This is my opportunity to select which keys are going to be protecting this multi-sig vault. The unchained key is automatically contributed already, but I need to specify which keys that I'm going to be contributing. So I'm gonna hit pick a key. I'm gonna choose my key, which is called Nexum, as one of them. 
And then for the other key, of course, I'm going to be choosing the key that Justin shared with me. So I'm going to hit Justin Evidence key and hit next. Now this is a, a quick review of the vault that I'm building. As always, uh, there's a box to check to agree to our terms of service. I'm going to check that box and hit create vault. And there you have it. Now I've built this brand new vault and you can see that the keys protecting it are my Nexum key, the Unchained key, and the shared key that came from Justin. And if you're looking at my screen now, you can see I have my existing vault up at the top, but I now have a table called shared vaults and that shows the uh, vault that Tom created. You'll see his vault named Tom and Justin, as well as the owner being Tom Hanzik. And there's no Bitcoin in there, but Tom's now going to be able to get started depositing Bitcoin. And if there's ever a request that he wants to make for me to sign a transaction, that will be notified to me via email. And I'll be able to come in here to my own account and sign that transaction to assist Tom. All right, and that rounds out our demonstration. Thank you so much for watching. So Justin, is there any other details or information that you'd like to share about our new connections feature? Yeah, Tom, I've been really excited to get this launched uh, and it's been great to be able to show people today in this video how to get started with this. Um, we've already seen some interesting use cases uh, that have been discussed. A uh, resident Bitcoiner in a family holding a key on behalf of those family members that are new to their Bitcoin journey or even a parent that has been wanting to set up an IRA for each of their children, being able to hold a key for them. Uh, the connections feature, still lots that we're planning to add in the coming months, um, but everything that you saw today that Tom and I walked through here is available for any Unchained client today. You can jump into your account and get started right away. That's awesome. And we also have a brand new section of our knowledge base dedicated to connections where clients can learn more about how to use this new feature. And as always, uh, we have a great custody support team at Unchained that is happy to help and provide information as you navigate this new feature. Awesome. Thanks, Tom.